Welcome back to another YouTube video and today I'm going to be showing you guys four different ways to improve your rankings. Maybe you are stuck on page two and you just can't shift up to page one or maybe you're even in positions four or five and you just want to beat out your competitors and start ranking for the ultimate spot, which is obviously position one. Hey, very quickly, if you are struggling ranking your website on Google, maybe you are an e-commerce store trying to get more sales, or potentially you might even be a local business trying to generate more leads for your company, check the link down below. I have helped businesses rank higher than the Google logo. Okay, that might have been a slight lie, but if you are looking to consistently grow your revenue month on month, check the link down below, fill in the form, see if my team can help you. Right, back to the video. So what I like to do is, whenever I am analyzing a website, there's four main components that I typically like to look at. And main, the main component, uh, number one, is obviously how many links does the website have? Typically speaking, your homepage is the safest place to build links through to and acquire links. So if we take a look here, this is paulmalldental.co.uk. They actually rank on page two for dentists in London. So it's a very lucrative keyword, but what we're trying to do is obviously on page two, we aren't earning any clicks. We're not getting any impressions and there's just no, no money on page two. So what we want to do is figure out the reasons as to why we aren't on page one. So what I would like look at is on Ahrefs, look at the exact URL. So just look at um, the homepage and look at how many backlinks are going through to this website. Now, as we can see here, there are quite a fair amount of links going through to the homepage. So in this instance, it's actually not the amount of links going through to the website. But in some cases, what you might typically find is that there might not be enough links going through to the homepage. If we actually go back to the website or to the actual search page, if we click on, let's say 76 Harley Street, let's see if they have a linking issue or a backlink issue. So if we go back to exact URL, as you can see, they've only got 48 backlinks going through to their homepage. Now, if you were to actually compare some of the results that are on page one, if we take a look at, for example, these guys, Wimple Street, dental clinic. And again, if we were to just do exact URL on that case, as you can see, there is 348 backlinks. So there is a massive deficit in the amount of links going through to the homepage. So as you can see, the example that we were taking a look at uh, before is paulmalldental.co.uk. So they don't actually have a link building issue. So what I would then be looking at is what other, what other reasons as to why Paul Mall Dental might not be ranking. So if we actually take a look at the reason number two is topical authority. Now, topical authority is massive and that is, in layman's terms, topical authority is the amount of articles you have talking about a certain subject. If you are trying to rank a one page website on Google, you only have your homepage and let's say a contact us page, you're gonna struggle um, unless it's a super easy keyword, but something like dentists in London, you're gonna need to be a little bit SEO savvy. And what I mean by that is we want to be creating pages for each of our services. So if say, for example, we do um, cosmetic dentistry, we we'll want to be creating uh, individual pages for that. So for example, if we go back to Google and if we do a site colon, and as you can see, if we go to tools, the position number one ranking website actually has got 360 results. And if we go back to our example, Paul Mall Dental, and again, if we do a quick Google search for site colon, and if we then take a look, as you can see, we are lacking in 90, or we do have only 98 results. So 
we do definitely have a topical authority issue where we could definitely be building out more articles on our website. Now, these could be individual services that we provide as a dentistry clinic. So, for example, I would be looking at doing um, certain services such as teeth whitening, um, cosmetic dentistry, um, orthodontics, each service that I actually provide as a dentistry um, clinic, I would be creating individual dedicated SEO optimized pages for each of those um, keywords. You could also go down the route of creating blogs. So for example, how much is cosmetic teeth dentistry or how much is teeth whitening? Um, pros and cons of teeth whitening. You can do supporting articles like that um, and that will help your overall website and your overall topical authority on your website. And another section that you can also cover on your website and create dedicated pages for is actual creating individual location pages. So you could do dentists in London or dentists in supporting towns and areas within London um, so any areas that you actually cover, you can actually create individual pages or location pages that are SEO optimized, targeting that area, and that will get you a lot more clicks and a lot more traffic through to your website. The third way of improving our SEO is improving our internal linking structure. So it's all fine and well creating a load of service pages, a load of blog articles and a load of location articles. But if you aren't and uh, if you aren't internally linking all of those pages through to the page that you truly care about, let's say it's the dentist in London example, if you've uploaded a blog article down here talking about the pros and cons of cosmetic dentistry and you aren't internally linking to what I like to call your main service pages or your main money pages, the pages that create, that earn you the most money as a dentistry clinic, you're gonna have a lot of issues. So what I like to do is build out like, let's say 60 or 70 blog articles. What I like to call these blog articles, the, the SEO terminology is supporting articles. And then what I like to do is build internal links going through to my service pages or my money pages, the pages that earn me the most money. So that is a really good strategy to go down. Um, and that does help Google understand that when you are uploading supporting articles, you're essentially building internal link power on your website to the pages that earn you the most money as a dental practice. Step number four is actually doing technical SEO. You would be surprised at the amount of errors that you would have on your website. And I typically like to do a technical SEO audit on all of our client websites every 90 days because typically speaking, in three months time, there, there can be mess ups. We are human at the end of the day. Um, what I recommend for doing a technical SEO audit, two tools, Screaming Frog is one of them. Screaming Frog uh, it isn't the most best designed UI, so you do need to be a little bit um, SEO savvy to understand that. The other tool that I actually have loaded up is Sitebulb, and this is what Sitebulb, what Sitebulb looks like. I believe it's probably about $60 a month to get this tool, but it, it, it does give a good um, breakdown of your website. So for example, if you have got any 301 pages or any 302 pages, pages that are basically causing your website any issues. So if we actually take a look here, if we look at internals, so this website, again, uh, this is the example of the uh, paulmalldental.co.uk. So from a technical standpoint, these guys aren't doing much wrong. Um, what I would say though, is that they obviously do have a topical authority issue in this case. Um, if we then take a look at links, um, it does break everything down. So they don't actually have any 404 pages, which is really good to see. Um, it probably does come down to a topical authority issue. And you can also do a site vis visualization of your website as well. It does take a few seconds to load, but once it has loaded, you can also see all of the articles and all of the subjects you are covering. So again, a little bit of a technical um, viewpoint of your website, but 
it does um, look or it, it does visually show you what your website looks like and how your internal linking structure looks like as well. So that has been my four ways to improve your website's rankings. Obviously, there could be a variety of different reasons as to why your website isn't ranking. These are probably my four go-to reasons to check why a website isn't ranking. Um, if you guys do want a longer version of this video, um, I could probably do a 50 point checklist of why your website isn't ranking where it should. Let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, if you guys do want a free 15 minute consultation with myself to improve your website's rankings, make certain to check the link in the description or go to casual-.com. Thanks.